yes, we crashed into St. Martin's Bridge. But let's start this story from the beginning. When we arrived in the island of Barbuda, a 62 square mile land. Welcome to Barbuda! <laughs> This land was once a British colony, and it's one of the less undeveloped islands in the Caribbean. If you like calm places, amazing clear waters and peace, this is the place for you. Check the color of this world. It was Princess Diana's favorite place in the world. I'm gonna surf literally in an aquarium. And if you like really heavy surf, this is also the place for you. But you need to be also really lucky, as it's really rare to have a swell big enough in the right direction for this amazing wave to work. Guess what? Luca was lucky, really lucky. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Art is there, Zing is here, time to go. It's actually a really nice beach here. <laughs> Beautiful sunset. Luca just got a really nice wave. That was a tough session. I was paddling in too late. I did like three big wipeouts. Sand on your hands. No, sand everywhere. <laughs> that was really fun. At least I got a good one. Let's go home. The right only there. orange boat there. Yeah, that's why I love the orange. See, you see all the boats and see our house right there, the orange. <laughs> No more waves today, so we are moving to a new anchorage to check it out. But first, of course, we need to work. There's no nothing for <laughs> free in this world. We need to you know, raise the anchor by hand because you know we're strong people. <laughs> you are. I'm not, not really. doing anything. Ay, ay. <laughs> So we're trying to find a way in between coral reefs, so that's why we have no engine right now. The outboard is off and it's higher than the water. So now we're trying to find a passage in between this little deep part and that one. We're really close to the reef. <laughs> oh, it's really shallow here. We did it! It was time to explore the surrounds and try to get some lobsters. But, once again, no success. Most of this part of the island is private and we couldn't move much around. Sometimes minds go crazy, 
Sometimes minds go So we just arrived in the new anchorage for the next couple hours. We anchor here because we can dinghy through this channel with a lot of waves. I have no idea how we're gonna pass that, but we need to because customs and immigration and all that bureaucracy is on the other side. There's a lagoon and we need to check out of the country. So today we go to San Martin and we need to check out first. That's the reason why we moved to here. It's a really trick anchorage for us right now because we have the center board down and here it's like a lot of shallow areas but we managed to do it we are anchored now Roberta is just finishing lunch for the passage what do we have here so sad we are leaving barbuda don't cry <laughs> that's onion cry <laughs> onions and um, we are gonna have lunches today Ooh, that's awesome well the guys are going to the custom by themselves because we need we, they need to pass through some waves there. It can be dangerous. We don't want to take the kids, so as the kids are gonna say, Hobart is also gonna stay. If something happens, you start the engine and you know, keep on the engine until we arrive back. <laughs> yeah, here the, the, the swell is like you go up and down. Up. It's uh, like a fat swell, so we don't feel that much. It's great. For it's days. Great. Time to go. Time to go. You. And that's gonna be an adventure. I, I hope I remember all that. So it's right, fourth left, straight to the yellow shirt, right, White House. So this island got hit by, I think, Hurricane Irma, and it's just like. It's just, you, you can see, you can tell that they're not 100% yet. It's stuff. It's like really, really sad to see this, but I mean, there's nothing much we can do. We just hope for the next hurricane not to pass by here again because I don't know if they can take one more. In September 2017, Hurricane Irma destroyed or damaged 95% of the island's buildings and infrastructure. And as a result, the 1,600 residents needed to be evacuated to Antigua leaving Barbuda empty for the first time in modern history. In February 2019, most of the residents returned to the island. First challenge done. We just check out. We are free to go to San Martin, but now we need to go to the lagoon and somehow manage to cross the waves. We'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. The way in, we go behind a wave and there's no way a, a wave is gonna break in front of us. But on the way out, you need to go against the waves and that means if a big set comes, it's gonna crash right in front of you. No, it's not good, but we'll find a way. We should look. We did it. We could have seen this boat, but we did it. It's all good. Woo! To get through the waves was really really tricky but we made it we are leaving barbuda to go to san martin probably we are not coming back to this place this season maybe in another year not this year it's a really nice place here but the swell is getting bigger and bigger i don't know if you can tell so the idea is to go to san martin to meet some friends there and to get to know another place maybe one day we come back here it's a really nice place Woo! Preventer because today we're gonna go really downwind so it's better to have the boom locked in place just to make sure we don't jive I mean safety first and I think it's gonna be much better with the preventer so put in place
food is coming, we sometimes miss these overnight passages and today is one of those. So we decide to leave in the afternoon, so in this way we can just sail the whole way, even if the wind is light, just like right now, we can still just sail because we need to arrive there during the day and we have the whole night to sail. So if you do like three knots aver average, yeah, three knots of speed average, we can still make during the day tomorrow. We cannot do every average of two knots. Yeah, but we're gonna do more than that. Uh, the wind's gonna pick up later, so it's fine. All good. It's beautiful. <laughs> In Portuguese, we say when the wind's coming from the aft, it's a good thing and actually it's pretty good. We don't feel like we are sailing, it seems like we are anchored, it's so comfortable. Yeah, it's really, really, really comfortable right now. There's a big swell, but it's like a really yeah. spaced swell. So it's like you go up and then you go down and then you go up. So comfy. You can stay here for like a few days, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's better than being anchored, actually. <laughs> It's amazing how calm some passages are. This is just like, feels like we're not even sailing. It's so, the movement is so smooth that seems like we're anchored because all our last anchors were really rolly because we've been trying to go surf. So, you know, the anchors are not the most uh, calm. So this seems like we're still anchored, but it's so cool because we're going like four knots. It's not much, but it's exactly the perfect timing that we need in order to get there in time right after the daylight comes because we don't want to arrive at night. And that's just perfect. It's gonna be an awesome night. I can tell it's like the sky is really, really clear. Check this out. There's a cloud there. Maybe it brings some wind. Who knows? Would be good even. But it's great. Even if it doesn't bring more wind, life is good. Life's good. See, but there is a bird who's been following us for a while. And he's a crew member now. Good morning. It's pretty chilly today. Yeah, it, the day is gonna be pretty hot for sure, but in, until the sun comes up, it's pretty chilly. We're still doing four and a half, sometimes five knots, sometimes three knots. We're in time, all good. Night was really, really calm. Nothing much happened. Really just look around, enjoy some music, and that's it. All good. Now, Hobart is sleeping a little bit because. She was awake from midnight to four, and now it's five, almost six, so I've been up for almost two hours already. Life's good on board. Duca went with her friends from Valero Liberdade to the customs to get uh, to check in the country. I friends. everything. Ah. I have the full story. I, I can run my own little section of this episode. I filmed with my phone. See, I didn't bring the camera, but I filmed with the phone. And brought some baguette for us. We arrived just in time to do customs on this side of the bay because we are going to go into the lagoon that's inside, you know, inside the island there is a lagoon and we have to be on the bridge by 5 p.m. because that's when the bridge opened today last. We're gonna try to do the check-in in the country first and then we go to the bridge and hopefully we can do everything in time and then we're good to go. We're gonna be inside and we're gonna meet our friends that it's been a long time, we don't see them, that's awesome. Well, didn't find yet the place for the customs, I guess it might be this marina. 
No, not here. But I was already wondering if it was gonna be here because usually in a French island, you're checking in stores, restaurants, bakery, or whatever. And here's a marina. It's just like too common to be the checking place. So the checking place is gonna be, I guess, it seems like in a store called Water Ward something that way. We're fine. We're fine. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We couldn't find yet. We just need to walk the whole town. It's all good. We're getting to know a little bit the town. It's really colorful. It's pretty awesome. I like it. That's not fair. I didn't have lunch yet. And the smell here is just unbelievable. So good. Roberta is on the boat cooking lunch right now. That's why I came by myself because I'm going to do check-in for both of us Why she cooks lunch. And this smells so good. Supposedly on this store, that's what the marina said. We need to come here and we can do the check-in on the store. I knew French territory, you just check in in weird place always. Seems like it's right here. Done. Immigration check. We are officially in France here in Saint Martin. Decided we are right out of French. And we are free to go back to the boat and cross the channel. That's gonna be a little bit tricky and scary, but we can do it. I don't see the boat from here, that's weird. I, I don't like when I, I don't see the orange from far away. Why is hard? Wait, 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 you need an anthem. You need to sing something for us. Sing something. Just make up an anthem for friends. Back to France. There's a bridge to go inside the bay and they open twice a day and they are gonna open five o'clock and we are getting ready to cross the bridge. That means we need to be exactly sharp in time there because the bridge opens exactly at five and they let first the boats coming out and then one in you know one after the other goes the ones going in but if you are too far from the last one they close the bridge so that means we need to be around waiting for the bridge to open and that's what we're going to do now we're going to raise anchor and wait right in front of the bridge let's hope it's easy we've never been on a bridge before like that you know like this kind of thing 12 minutes to go <laughs> It's really suggestive, the little channel in between waves, there's a, another sailboat on the shore, sideways. <laughs> the cool thing about living aboard is that sometimes you do a new thing every single day and we are gonna do this for the first time and it's so cool. On the move! So now we are waiting for the boats to come out and then we are gonna be allowed to go in. I don't know how we know that it's time to go, but we are following the others. More boats coming. First sail boats coming out. Time to go. Here we go. <laughs> Ten sail boats counting, yes. shallow here finally we made it mm -hmm. yeah with a minor accident I just <laughs> I didn't know the bridge was so narrow and from the cockpit with the bimini I cannot see the spreader and I was afraid of going too much towards the port side in hitting the mess on the bridge so I went way too much to the starboard side and I end up crashing this on the bridge that was so lucky because these hold the rest 
and the bridge was literally this high and the solar panels you could see coming like the street was like here so that means we could have crashed the solar panels in the entire side of the boat but this little tiny thing <laughs> saved us and luckily I don't know why but I took the buoy off today <laughs> and now this saved us and we didn't lose the buoy so it's just Back in place. <laughs> good to go. That's that's all. <laughs> all good. Now we need to try to find our friends because they did the anchor here. They went far farther on the anchorage. There are way too many boats. I'm like, uh, let's stay safe with more space. <laughs> I, I like space. I hate to anchor in between a lot of tight boats. I rather have a lot of space to swing around. And this week the wind is gonna pick up a lot from the other side, like coming from here. So as close from land better. So we are in a really nice spot. But now we need to find our friends. It's a beautiful anchorage. And our friends, they are on the Dutch side of the... Ah, this that island has... a surprise! I'm gonna be the name of the friends because you don't know who you're gonna meet today okay. or tomorrow so maybe. The curiosity is that this island has two countries. So here is France and there is the Dutch side. Yeah, we stay in the French side because it's way <laughs> cheaper. Like There is like maybe like, I don't know, 30 US dollars or something to check in. Here was two euros. <laughs> That's all. So, I um, love this I mean, side. <laughs> yeah, we anchor here and we dig it to the other side, you know, poor Brazilians. And they have baguettes here. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they probably have baguettes there too. No, I no, don't think so. Yeah, so I like the French side because, you know, we're going to go to France next month. <laughs> and we are learning French. <laughs> we're learning French, that's true. <laughs> Merci. Au revoir. <laughs> Mon amour. James, thanks so much for the super thanks. And we see you guys next week.